guys, hey girls, hey boys. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Madi, also known as Marbu Jari here on YouTube. Hello, welcome to my channel. If you are not new, you're probably looking at me like, what the heck is going on? I recently ordered some contact lenses because your girl is blind, but also wanted to try out these fun little colorful ones. So I was like, why not sit down and film? Because I was already getting ready and putting these contacts on. I was like, you know what, let me film it because this is my first time. So I was like, let me just share with you guys because I literally share everything with you guys. So this is a makeup look that I did. Nothing too dramatic, kind of minimal, not too minimal, but it's like a good, appropriate glam. So yeah, if you guys are interested to see on how I got this look or just wanna chill and get ready with me, I suggest you keep on watching. But before I start this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you're notified every single time your girl posts. And without further ado, before we get into the video, um, I do have a new intro. So if you're ready, give this video a thumbs up because oh, I'm so obsessed with it. So with that being said, without further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> I was literally struggling so hard to put these damn contacts on but I've been waiting for these because they actually have my prescription in them and your girl is really blind and sometimes you know glasses be ruining the whole makeup look so I'm still trying to adjust so if I'm like blinking a lot don't mind me I'm just trying to adjust to these freaking contacts but um, I just wanted to do like a get ready with me. I don't know if I'm gonna do like anything special with the eye look, but this is my first time using contacts, so this is my first time using contacts with makeup. This is all new to me, so I was like, you know what? Let me just sit down and film a chill get ready with me. Oh my god, I look so different, it's so weird. Okay, anyways, so I went ahead and did my brows off camera. You know, where is my brow pencil? Take too long to do on camera so i use my anastasia brow wiz in the shade medium brown to face born sweat concealer to clean them up so now we're gonna do the face first yes hold on. actually before we do any type of primer we need to prep the skin so i'm gonna take my ula henriksen banana bright eye cream and then take my neutrogena hydro boost water gel for the rest of the face So I recently just got back from LA. I was out there for a week, so I'm happy to be home. I love LA, don't get me wrong, but uh, a week was kind of too long. And especially like, if you've been to LA, you know the traffic is terrible. So for instance, like if we wanted to go out to eat and it was like, oh, only like three miles away. Yeah, three miles, but like freaking 30 minutes to get there. So that's the only thing that's kind of annoying. So yeah, we went to the Ace Family Basketball Charity event and me and Angel vlogged it. So if you guys would like to see that, I'll have it, the card up here and also links down below. So go ahead and check that out. Um, speaking about Angel and I, um, we have a vlogging channel. We used to do a lot more, but we decided to focus more like when we go on trips or like do like little events like that, like the Ace Family one. So if you guys want to see more of my life rather than just me sitting in my room, I suggest you go and check out our channel. Again, I will have it linked down below. Go show our channel some love. Alright, so now that the skin is all prepped, I'm going to go ahead and prime the face using my Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. Okay, so now for foundation, I'm gonna mix two. I'm gonna take my L'Oreal Infallible foundation in the shade, I think it's nude beige. I always forget what shade I am. Where does it even say it at? Well, this is the number 455, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of my Morphe foundation, because this one is matte. This is the shade F2.20, so I'm gonna mix these two because it gives me like the perfect coverage. Oh my gosh, also, I wanted to talk about, you guys already saw it, but my new intro, oh my god, I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Michael, literally, his work is amazing. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it before. Like, he's done James Charles' intro, he's done Jaclyn Hills, and when I saw his work, I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm so excited and happy that he did my intro because your girl needed a new one, and she needed a good one, so... He really went hard on my intro and honestly, I'm so happy with it. I feel like he did it 
perfectly. So leave a comment down below on what you guys think about my new intro because I'm so happy with it. Um, I know I changed the song, but I wanted something chill and like didn't get annoying because I'm not gonna lie, like my other intro, I was just like, ugh, like I just couldn't stand the song anymore. So I wanted something chill. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below on what you guys think. And also, um, I'll have Michael's Instagram linked down below. Go show him some love. His work is amazing. Oh my God, I can't take myself seriously with these contacts on. Alright, so now for concealer, I'm going to use my go-to, which is the Too Faced Born Sway Concealer in the shade Vanilla. It's so weird. Like, I feel like the house is so quiet. I usually have my little brothers here, but they're at the park right now. So it's like... It's so weird. And then I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk Beauty Sponge, the mini version. Oh, the mini version to blend out this concealer. So now to set under my eyes, I'm going to take my um, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and just take that beauty sponge and tap it right under the eyes. You guys know the drill. And then I like to put a lot on my nose because that's where I get the most oily. To finish off the rest of the face, I know I still have powder here, but I'm going to take my Huda Beauty Banana Bread um, Loose Powder to set the rest of the face. So now to bronze up and warm up my face, I'm going to use my Hula bronzer. Oh my gosh, my eyes are kind of like, I'm still adjusting to these contacts. So I feel like I'm not even looking at the camera. Whew, okay. So anyways, I'm taking my Real Techniques Multitask Brush to bronze up the face. And then I'm gonna go back into my Huda Beauty powder to clean it up a little bit. Okay, so now for blush, I'm taking my Morphe Blush Trio in the shade Pop of Color, and I'm mixing these two right here to apply onto the cheeks, and I'm using my Urban Studio Stippling 204 brush. So now I'm gonna take my Luxie 5112 Small Corn, want small contouring brush to clean up this powder okay so I'm gonna pause on the rest of the face we'll go back for like highlight and everything else after but now for the eyes I'm gonna do something natural of course it's like my go-to I am taking my perception palette which is the Shyla and ColourPop collab but actually I forgot I haven't used this palette in such a long time so I was like I need to use palettes that I buy because I literally buy them, I use them once and I put them back. So, so I'm pretty much just gonna use something in like this row right here. Okay, so I'm taking my Morphe M441 brush and I'm gonna take the shade Culture, which is just a like light brown tan transition shade. Let me zoom you guys in. And this shade is just gonna go into the crease. Fix these clips, they're kind of in my face. Okay, now to warm up a little bit, I'm gonna take the shade Thick, which is this orange shade, and I'm using a Morphe M514 brush. Okay, so now for the lid, I think I wanna do like a shimmery lid, so I'm gonna take the shade Diva right here and just apply that. Oh yeah. She's pretty. And I think I'm gonna add a little bit of the shade TF on top. Okay, so I wanna keep this eye look pretty minimal like the way it is right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes off camera and your girl will be right back. All right, so I went ahead and applied my lashes. Of course, I use my favorite, my recent favorite have been my Ardell Mega Volume um, lashes. These are literally my 
babies. Yeah, so I love these lashes because they're not too much, but they give you that like, ooh, like she looks cute. She tried. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do anything on the lower lash line. I kind of want to just keep this little settle eye look going on. So yeah, that's it for the eyes. Or actually, that's not it for the eyes because I still gotta highlight the inner corner. So to highlight my face and my inner corner, I'm using this Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlighter. Excuse the noise in the background. My little brothers are home. Anyway, so I'm taking my Morphe M310 fan brush to apply it. Ooh, you see that? It's like literally like one swipe. And now using the same highlight, I'm taking my Morphe M515 brush to highlight the inner corner. Okay, so now for the lips, I have my little combo right here. So I'm going to take my Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner, and then on top of that, I'm going to take my Dose of Colors, my main liquid lipstick, and then for a little bit of gloss, I'm going to take my Persona Peach Gloss to apply it right on top. Alright, and last but not least, to set my entire face, I'm taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Alright guys, so this concludes today's makeup look. I just want to sit down and film a chill get ready with me and kind of talk to you guys a little bit about life and just wanted to do a glam. I wanted to film today, but I didn't know what to film, so I was like, why don't I just sit here and play with makeup? and talk to you guys and just relax. So yeah, that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below what you like to see in the future. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my Angels channel, which is Ebony Forever Ever. Stay blooming and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.